Well, that's interesting. I would have gone for a completely different ketchup, for example, <laughs> but then I'm not shopping in a supermarket in Prague, so maybe that plays a role. Daniel Domascheit Berg, computer scientist and former spokesman for WikiLeaks, is back here with us. Uh, would you volunteer for such a test? Oh, uh, no. I don't think so, um, because I have a certain, I think I have a certain awareness of what kind of industry I would be supporting with this. And, and I don't what, have what an industry in, would that be? Well, this, as the, the gentlemen have clearly said, it's for marketing purposes and right. I'm not and a big a fan thing. of marketing. Yes, ah. not in the sense that marketing is done today. It's not that anybody is trying to sell me the most rational product, the best product or whatever. It's, uh, it's driven by monetary interests mm -hmm. and this is usually not what what's fitting with an intelligent decision you're taking. So in the customer. end, you believe the consumer is not the one who will benefit from such a device? No, it's certainly the people that are trying to sell things oh. to the consumer. Now, now, of course, all this data that we're talking about, that it also this uh, eye tracking device is trying to collect this big data, it also helped uh, whistleblower platforms like WikiLeaks uh, to reveal a lot of information and make it accessible to the public. So taking all of this into consideration, would you say that this kind of collecting of data is a blessing or a curse? Mm. It's not as easy as that, unfortunately, it's both. And the question is, what do we use it for? So there's a tremendous potential you have, for example, in cancer research and cancer treatment, where you can build databases and then you can single out the particular treatment for a woman in her mid 40s who is a smoker, who has overweight and a certain health, health con condition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can really target very well what kind of a treatment you're giving to that mm -hmm. person. But on the other hand, you can also use that to profile people and to categorize them and then use that information against them. Maybe not allow them into a health insurance for Absolutely, a that's like that. exactly. Okay. If you know they are consuming a lot of alcohol or they're buying a uh, lot of alcohol, you might not want to give them a health, a health insurance or a life insurance. There's a very thin line to walk. Now, exactly. Big data, data, data theft, data protection is also a very big topic in the uh, upcoming uh, German general election. Yes. Uh, so where do you think big data is going? How will this topic develop? I think right now we're still in the very beginning on all of this and it's very important that we're having a healthy debate and this is contributing hopefully to it. Um, and we as a society, I think, need to understand that we have to take a decision on where we want to go. Okay, so we have to take a greater interest in it. Absolutely. Daniel Domscheid-Berg, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.